Do you have a wedding on the horizon and want to create a card that's both unique and heartfelt? Today I'll show you how to design a gorgeous wedding card using my latest free SVG file. This tutorial is perfect for those who love combining digital designs with handmade touches. Let's dive in and craft a card that the happy couple will cherish forever. Hey everyone, it's Lean from coloradolean.com. Welcome back to the craft room. Let me show you some of the things we're going to need for today's project, starting with the free SVG file that I designed, Mr. and Mrs. A link to download this SVG will be available in the description below, as well as the corresponding blog post. The SVG file, and this is just a printed image of it, but the actual file itself is about three and three eighths inches wide by two and a quarter inches tall. There will be three different parts to it. Um, I didn't necessarily need to have two of the Mr. and Mrs., but I just wanted to show that you can have one for a, a matte layer and one for a top layer. Some of the papers we're gonna be using, we're going to start with Recollections, 110 pound white card. We will need a piece for the card base that I already have cut and scored. Um, this card will be four and a quarter by five and a half. We'll need a piece for the card front, as well as another piece for the top layer of the SVG. We're going to need some other paper to go along with it. And I have a collection to choose from. Uh, the first option that I have is Recollections Signature Paper. This is a silver and a champagne shimmer cardstock. Both of them are very pretty. I also have uh, let's see, this has gold shimmer cardstock. I picked this pack of paper up from Tuesday morning. And while this side is very pretty, the gold shimmer is also on the back of this paper. So it's white with a gold shimmer. So that gives us another option. And then yesterday while I was cleaning my craft room, I ran across uh, some classic crest antique gray which is a really super pretty light gray color so those are the options i will make my choice soon some of the other options we're going to need we'll need a tim holtz guillotine trimmer to finish cutting our cardstock and our mats to cut the svg file I'll be using my Cricut Explore Air 2, a couple of Cricut cutting mats. Because mine aren't as sticky as they should be, I'll be using the green cutting mats. If you have brand new or still really sticky card mat cutting mats, I would suggest the blue mat for paper. Um, I have a couple of weeding tools. I may need the Cricut spatula. We'll be using score tape and some art glitter glue. So let me go ahead and get this all cleaned off and we'll get started with our card. While I've been cleaning off my desk, I've been trying to figure out which one of these beautiful papers I wanna use for the mat. And I still have no idea. So I thought I would bring in a piece of the Recollections white and just kind of give it another look. So that's, that's nice, that's a definite option. Uh, while that is more of a contrast, I don't think I like it as much. While this gold shimmer is really pretty, I think it just blends too much. So I won't be using that side. And for this particular project, I don't like the gold at all. So that one is definitely out. And then the Classic Crest Antique Gray. I like this one. So I think 
I think it is between these two colors. I believe this is the, well, you know, I'm not really sure. This could be the champagne in the shimmer. Yeah, I think this is the champagne color. So it's a toss up between these two. Um, I might cut them both out and then see which one I like best. So I think that's what we're going to do. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get my card mat cut down. The card base is four and a quarter by five and a half. So this will be the card front. So I'm going to take this one down to three and three quarters by five. So I'll set that aside. And then I will cut each one of these down to a card mat. So we will start with five and a quarter by four. I'll put that one over there. And this piece I will use for the Cricut mat. And then I will cut this one down as well to five and a quarter by four. Yeah, by four. We'll set that aside and then I will use that one on the Cricut map. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to jump into Cricut Design Space and I'm going to show you how I'm going to set this up. All right, we are in Cricut Design Space on my iPad. And the first thing you're going to want to do after downloading your free SVG file is upload it into Cricut Design Space. So we'll click Upload, Browse Files, and then we will scroll to where our file is. Click it. We will rename it. Mr. and Mrs. And then upload it. Before we can do anything with this, we need to ungroup. And then I will show you a few of the options that you have. You can just print this as is, Mr. and Mrs. And it would look lovely on a card front. Another option, you could print the ampersand, or I'm sorry, you could cut the ampersand in a different color. And you could line it up on your design and have a two color option. Another thing you could do is you could offset the second Mr. and Mrs. for another two color option. Or if you wanted three colors, you could bring in the ampersand and lay that over the top. And then your design would look like that. So that's the design that I'm going to choose for today. And what I want is the matte layer and the ampersand to be the same color. So I will choose Mr. and Mrs. I will come to edit and then I will change the color and apply. So now these two pieces will cut on one mat. And this will cut on another. And I'll go ahead and, and change that color as well, just to make it a little easier. And then I will save my design. I will save it as Mr. and Mrs. And I will save that to the cloud. I will come up to make it. They will be on 12 by 12 mats. And for our first mat, there's nothing we need to do. Um, I may 
Now I'm just going to leave that the way it is. So then we'll choose next. Select our accessory, which is the Cricut Explore Air 2. For our first mat, we're going to be using a 110 pound card. But what I'm going to do is cardstock for intricate cuts. This will cut around the design two or three times, so that should be sufficient. And I will leave that on default pressure. And then for our next mat, both pieces are around the same weight. Um, so I think again I will choose cardstock for intricate cuts with the default pressure. And then I'm going to load my mats and cut them out and I'll be with you when that's finished. Okay, we are back. Um, I had an interesting thing happen. My, let me bring this a little closer to the camera so you can see. Um, this piece here was cut with a 110 pound card on cardstock for intricate cuts. And it did a horrible job. I am not happy with that at all. So I found a piece of 65 pound card recollections in white. And I cut that in 80 pound cardstock. And that cut out perfectly. So we'll just go ahead and check that in the trash. And now the fun begins. I'm going to be working on this piece of brown cardstock just so there's a little bit of difference here. And let me bring in my other two cuts. This one as well cut a little bit rough. But I think it'll be all right for a base layer. And I can always take my scissors and trim that up just a little bit. Um, I still don't know which one I'm going to use. Whether it'll be the antique gray or if it'll be the champagne. Uh, so let's just see what they look like. If I can pick it up. And then I'll bring in my white card for that. So there's that one. You can see. Um, let's put the ampersand on there as well. So there's that option. Yeah, not all that impressed, actually. So let's see what it'll look like with the antique gray. Kind of line that up on there. And then put that on there. And of course when you glue it, when I glue it down, it'll look much nicer. And you know what? Now that I'm looking at it, I don't like that other ampersand on there. So there's that one. You know, I really don't know. This is not turning out like I thought it would, actually. Hmm. Okay, well, let's... Let's say we're going to use that one. So that would be our card mat. And this would be our card front. And we put that on there. Yeah, I really don't like that at all. Okay, so I'm going to have to cut away here for a little bit and rethink some options. And, uh, I'll get back with you in a little bit. Okay, so I am back. 
after going through the majority of my cardstock collection, I decided to use Gray Craft from Recollections. Um, it is 65 pounds. And I ran that through the Cricut Explore Air 2 on the 80 pound cardstock cut setting at the default pressure. So now we're going to start putting stuff together. So in order to make sure I get this lined up straight, I'm going to use my club scrap ruler just because it's nice and thick and it has a solid bottom on it or a solid edge, I mean. And then I'm going to add my art glitter glue. Okay, so I'm going to line this up on the bottom, but I'm going to offset it to the left a little bit. Now while that's drying, let's go ahead and get part of our card to put together. I'm going to use score tape. And if you've noticed before, I have a little uh, acrylic block and I use this to uh, help me rip my tape more in a straight line. Um, the nice thing about score tape is you don't need a pair of scissors with the paper backing. But I like to just hold the tape down and then I pull the pull the tape up against the edge and I get a nice straight line. And I will use my Teflon bone folder to make sure all of that tape is adhered down and then take the backing off. And there's the beginning of our card. Now I want to do something a little different with this. Um, if you watched my last video, the uh, white on white card designs, um, my favorite card from all of them that I made had some scoring on the bottom. And I think I want to recreate that. So I'm just going to lay this on my card panel to kind of get an idea of where I need to start my score at. And I'm just going to, I don't know, choose that spot right there. And this will be the back side of the card, so that's not going to show at all. So with my Martha Stewart scoreboard and a, let's see, that is a Fiskar. Um, wow. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I'll uh, pop a name for you <laughs> when I figure it out. So there is my score. Well, let me see if I can turn it around here. Yeah, there we go. So that is my score. And then the Mr. and Mrs. will be up here at the top. So I'm going to come across here and I will do this every quarter of an inch. All right, and then I'm just going to define this top line again. And there are the score lines. So let me bring this back in for a little change of color. So if we just lay this here, then that will be our card front. 
And I think I'm going to go ahead and glue this down first before I put it on my card base. And then we will close up our glue, get our score tape back, and get this down on the card. All right, and there is our wedding card. What do you think? It's a little bit different than the original plan. And for the inside, I am going to go online and find a nice wedding quote for the couple. And I will print that up on my computer and then add that in here. Well, this card certainly didn't turn out like I had initially planned, but that's okay. I love it, and I know the bride and groom will as well. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when I put up the next video. Until then, have a great day. Bye.